Hey everyone, it's Jamie here from Ecom Masterclass, and in today's video, I'll be going over how you can fix your Shopify theme score. So this theme score is gonna mainly relate to your page loading speed, so I'm gonna go over a few strategies on how you can improve that in today's video. Before I dive into it, I wanna mention our sponsor, ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available on the Shopify app store. It's gonna allow you to skip your spreadsheets and get back to growing your store with real-time calculations. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for, and it's gonna automatically calculate your profit and you a ton of detailed metrics so you can understand how your store is truly performing. There's a link in the description below to access a 15 day free trial. And I'm also gonna show a quick promo video. Are you a Shopify business owner who spends hours doing your accounting? Have messy spreadsheets kept you from growing your business? Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. Now the theme store might not be showing up if you're on a newer version of Shopify, but on the older ones, if you simply go to the left hand side here, go to online store. Once you click on that, it's gonna load your themes and your theme score will be on top. This will also depend how long you've had Shopify before as it's gonna compare it to different stores here and give you your theme score over time. So if you click into this here, it's essentially your speed score. So it's gonna tell you how quickly your Shopify store is loading and give you your speed score over time as well depending how long you've had Shopify for. And so there are quite a few ways which you can improve your theme score. There are also things you shouldn't be focusing on, so I'm gonna go over all of those in today's video. The main way to improve your theme score is to first find out what's slowing down your Shopify store. And so you wanna to head to a site, it's called gtmetrics.com, and it does a really good job at analyzing your Shopify store and telling you and showing you what is taking a long time to load. So ideally for your store, you want it to load under two or three seconds, as it's been shown that every speed improvement matters as it will increase your conversion rate overall, as a customer or potential customer is gonna see what they're looking for quicker. A lot of people today are browsing on mobile devices and depending where you're advertising to, fast 3G or fast Wi-Fi might not always be available. So what you're loading on your computer, if you have fast Wi-Fi, is gonna be different than what other people are loading. So you wanna make sure you're optimizing your store for speed improvements. So once you head to gtmetrics.com, you simply want to copy and paste your URL of your Shopify store. Once that's pasted in there, you want to test your site, then that's going to load a bunch of detailed analytics here. So once gtmetrics loads here, it's going to give you an overall dashboard. Now this is a testing store here. There are no apps loaded on it. There are just a few images on the homepage. So it's going to have an excellent score here. We can see it's 100% basically across the board. But I'm going to show you a few very cool visualization options here so you can see what's slowing down your site. The first one is going to be the summary and the speed visualization underneath here. It's going to give you different markers on how fast the page is loading and when the customer can start seeing content. So we can see this is loading at the 0.6 second mark. We have our on load time, our time to interact, and our largest contentful paint. So around that 0.5 second mark, the customer can start interacting with our Shopify store. At the two second mark, it's gonna be fully loaded. And that's an extremely fast loading time here. As we can see, it has an A grade. In your summary, you can get to a few different options here. One of the best ones is the waterfall section, where it's gonna show you line by line what's loading on your Shopify store. <laughs> Here I can see all 30 requests that have been made when the website is loaded. So I can see one thing off the bat that's showing is the favicon. So there's an error here with the favicon. 404 stands for not found, so I would probably fix that one right away. In terms of what's taking a long time, this is going to be in milliseconds. I can see this right here is taking a long time and this right here. If I expand these, I can see what they're looking at. You can expand them by clicking on the plus icon next to the line item here. So if I scroll down a little bit, I can see this right here. It's an untitled design, 360x.png. If I click on this, it's also going to load the image. And I can see this was an old logo we used. And so that's what's taking a little bit of time there. If I close this one, and I open the next one. This is going to be another image. I can see .jpg, so a JPEG here. And if I click on it, I can see it's the shorts image. So I can see these are taking a little longer. One of your slowest components of your Shopify store that is impacting your theme score is most likely going to be the images loaded on your page. You want to make sure these are optimized. When I say optimized, I mean compressed. So there are several ways in which you can do that. Completely free right here is to use tinypng.com. You're simply gonna upload your images and then it's gonna compress them. We can see this original fire size went from 57 KB to 15 KB. 
and it's going to do things such as compressing the background. There's going to be no quality loss here. The second way is going to be using an app on the Shopify app store. An app such as Crush, it's a speed and image optimizer. It's going to go through every image in your store and optimize them automatically. It's a great thing to do as well as if you have a lot of products with a lot of product images, rather than manually downloading them and re-uploading them, this is going to automate that process. So that's images there. I'll give you two ways which to optimize. Any store that's created should be doing this as it's going to automatically increase loading times by a good amount. This isn't shown here as this Shopify app store doesn't have any apps loaded on the page. But another way that your store is going to be slowed down is if you have quite a few front end apps. These can be apps you downloaded on the Shopify app store or different plugins you've added to your store that you've downloaded online. Now, if you have a lot of these plugins here, they're going to show up as .js files. So JavaScript files, and you'll be able to see which ones are taking a long time. If you want to filter here, you can go to the top, go to the right, go to JS, and it's going to show you all the JavaScript that is loaded. You'll be able to identify plugins which are taking a lot of time to load. And if you want to remove them, you can uninstall them. You can also contact app developers on the app store if they haven't removed it properly, and they should go and remove that for you. Now that I've talked about factors you can control, let's go over factors you can control as you may want to optimize them, but there's going to be no way for you to do so. So Shopify lists these out here. I'll leave a link in the description to this below. Basically, you can't optimize a customer's device, network, or location. If they're using a slow internet connection or an outdated device, you really can't do anything about that. You also can optimize Shopify's infrastructure. So they're going to host your server or your store on their servers, and they're constantly making improvements to this. You can't optimize anything here along the lines of the CDN or the content delivery network, the local browser cache, server-side paid caches, and assets inside the content underscore for underscore header liquid object. So since you can't optimize here, if you see anything on the line about optimizing these or you're looking to optimize them because they're slower, there's nothing you can do. So I wouldn't worry too hard on that front. Shopify overall has done an excellent job at making sure their websites are fast especially with the new theme update. So this is going to conclude the video here on how to fix your theme score. It's mainly going to come down to your image load speed, as well as if you have any extra JavaScript through apps or plugins available on your Shopify store. These are going to impact greatly on slowing things down. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And if you haven't yet, make sure you check out ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available on the Shopify app store. All you have to do is select your date range and it's going to calculate your profit so you can understand how your business is truly performing. There's a link in the description to access a 15-day free trial. Make sure you check that out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.